The Pathfinder Volume 46, Contain Your Excitement, The Critical Role of Container Closure Systems in Drug Safety and Efficacy. In this audio cast, we imagine a world where medications arrive at your doorstep in compromised states, their potency diminished, or their contents contaminated. Such a scenario not only threatens patient health but also undermines the very purpose of drug development. In this audio cast, we delve into the often overlooked yet critical role of container closure systems in preserving drug products' safety, efficacy, and quality. From understanding the components of these systems to exploring regulatory requirements and real-life examples, we reveal the hidden guardians that ensure the integrity of medications, urging the pharmaceutical industry to prioritize this essential aspect of drug packaging. Brace yourself for an eye-opening journey into the world of container closure systems and the protection they provide for patients and their well-being. When it comes to packaging and delivering drug products, the container closure system plays a crucial role in ensuring the safety, efficacy, and quality of the drug. The choice of the appropriate container closure system depends on several factors, including the drug's physical and chemical properties and the product's intended use. The container closure system must be carefully designed, tested, and validated to meet regulatory requirements and protect patients' health. In this blog, we will discuss the importance of developing an effective container closure system for drug products, regulatory requirements for container closure systems, and examples of container closure systems for different types of drug products. The container closure system is a critical component in ensuring the safety and efficacy of drug products. It consists of the primary container, closure, and any secondary packaging. It provides a barrier to prevent microbial contamination protects the drug from light and moisture, and maintains its potency during storage and transportation. Developing an effective container closure system for drug products is a complex process that requires a deep understanding of the product and its intended use, as well as knowledge of the regulatory requirements and industry best practices. The primary container is the vessel that holds the drug product and is usually made of glass or plastic. Glass containers are preferred for injectable products because they are transparent, inert, and do not interact with the drug. They can also withstand high temperatures required for sterilization, which is crucial for parenteral products. On the other hand, plastic containers are used for oral liquids, topical creams, and ointments because they are lightweight, unbreakable, and have excellent moisture barrier properties. Closure is the device that seals the container and prevents the drug from leaking or evaporating. It can be a cap, stopper, or crimp seal, depending on the type of container and product. For example, rubber stoppers are commonly used for injectable products because they provide a secure seal and are compatible with the sterilization process. However, they can interact with the drug and cause particle formation or discoloration over time. To minimize this risk, the stoppers are usually coated with silicone or fluoropolymer. The secondary packaging is the outer layer that protects the primary container from physical damage, light, and moisture. It can be a box, blister pack, or shrink wrap depending on the product and distribution channel. For example, blister packs are commonly used for tablets and capsules because they provide individual protection and convenience for patients. They also prevent contamination during handling and transportation. Developing an effective container closure system for drug products requires a comprehensive understanding of the product characteristics, including its chemical and physical properties, stability, and compatibility with the container and closure materials. This information is typically obtained through analytical and biological testing, such as container closure integrity testing, extractables, leachable testing, and accelerated stability studies. Regulatory requirements for container closure systems vary depending on the type of drug product and the intended use. For example, sterile products must meet stricter requirements for microbiological control and container closure integrity than non-sterile products. The FDA and other regulatory agencies guide the design, testing, and validation of container closure systems to ensure that they meet the required standards for safety, efficacy, and quality. The regulatory requirements for container closure systems depend on the type of drug product and the intended use. Here are some of the general regulatory requirements for container closure systems. Container closure systems must protect the drug product from contamination and ensure product integrity. The container closure system should not interact with the drug product in a way that compromises its quality, safety, or efficacy. The closure system must be secure and provide a tight seal to prevent leakage or evaporation of the drug product. The materials used for the container and closure must be compatible with the drug product and not contribute to the formation of impurities, degradation product, or particles. 
Container closure systems should be designed, tested, and validated to ensure that they meet the appropriate standards for stability, sterility, and compatibility with the intended product. Container closure system must meet the required standards for microbiological control, particularly for sterile drug products. The regulatory agencies may require specific testing and documentation for the container closure system, such as extractables and leachables studies, container closure integrity testing, and stability studies. The regulatory agencies may also require that the container closure system be manufactured under appropriate quality control standards and that the manufacturing process be validated. The regulatory requirements for the container closure system may vary depending on the stage of drug development, from initial product approval to post-approval changes or updates. It is essential to consult with regulatory agencies and follow their guidance to ensure the container closure system meets the appropriate standards and requirements. Adhering to regulatory requirements can help ensure the drug product's safety, efficacy, and quality and protect patients' health. Container closure systems for drug products can vary depending on the type of drug and its intended use. Here are some examples of container closure systems for different types of drug products. Injectable drugs, glass vials with rubber stoppers and aluminum crimp seals are commonly used for injectable drugs. The rubber stoppers are typically coated with silicone or fluoropolymer to minimize interaction with the drug product. Plastic syringes with needle or lure lock connections are also used for injectable drugs. Oral solid dosage forms, tablets and capsules are usually packaged in blister packs, which provide individual protection and convenience for patients. Bottles with child-resistant closures may also be used for solid dosage forms. Oral liquid dosage forms, plastic bottles with child-resistant closures are commonly used for oral liquid dosage form. The bottles may be made of high-density polyethylene or polypropylene and may be amber or clear, depending on the light sensitivity of the drug. Topical creams and ointments, tubes or jars made of plastic or aluminum are used for topical creams and ointments. The closures may be screwing caps or snap-on lids and may include a tamper-evident seal. Inhalation products, inhalation products, such as metered dose inhalers and dry powder inhalers, are typically packaged in aluminum canisters or plastic cartridges. The canisters and cartridges are fitted with a metering valve and an actuator and may be packaged in a cardboard box with a patient information leaflet. Parenteral nutrition. Parenteral nutrition products are typically packaged in a three-chamber bag, which separates the amino acid solution, lipid emulsion, and electrolyte solution until they are mixed prior to administration. The bag may be made of polyvinyl chloride or polypropylene and may include a needle-free connector for easy administration. The choice of container closure system for a drug product depends on several factors, including the drug's physical and chemical properties, the intended use of the product, and regulatory requirements. It is essential to design and validate the container closure system to ensure the drug product's safety, efficacy, and quality. There are regulatory guidance documents available for container closure systems. These guidance documents provide recommendations and requirements for the design, testing, and validation of container closure systems to ensure the safety, efficacy, and quality of drug products. Here are some examples of regulatory guidance documents related to container closure systems. U.S. FDA Guidance for Industry, Container Closure Systems for Packaging Human Drugs and Biologics. This guidance provides recommendations for the design, testing, and evaluation of container closure systems for drug products. It covers topics such as materials of construction, compatibility testing, container closure integrity testing, and stability testing. In my guideline on plastic immediate packaging materials, this guideline provides recommendations for using plastic materials for the immediate packaging of medicinal products. It covers topics such as polymer selection, extractables and leachables testing, and migration testing. It Q1A stability testing of new drug substances and products. This guideline provides recommendations for stability testing of drug substances and drug products. It includes recommendations for the testing of container closure systems and the evaluation of stability data. Blue Technical Report Series, No. 961, Annex 9 Guidelines on Packaging for Pharmaceutical Products. This guideline provides recommendations for the selection and evaluation of packaging materials for pharmaceutical products, including container closure systems. It covers topics such as packaging materials, compatibility testing, and stability testing. It is essential to consult with regulatory agencies and follow their guidance to ensure that the container closure system meets the appropriate standards and requirements. Adhering to regulatory requirements can help ensure the drug product's safety, efficacy, and quality and protect patients' health.
Developing an effective container closure system for drug products is a critical aspect of drug development that requires careful consideration of product characteristics, regulatory requirements, and industry best practices. A well-designed and validated container closure system can help ensure the safety and efficacy of the drug product throughout its shelf life and distribution, ultimately benefiting patients and healthcare providers. In conclusion, the development of an effective container closure system for drug products is critical to ensure the safety, efficacy, and quality of the drug. Regulatory requirements guide the design, testing, and validation of container closure systems, which must be followed to meet the appropriate standards and protect patients' health. Examples of container closure systems for different types of drug products demonstrate the diversity of packaging options available and the importance of selecting the appropriate system for each drug. By prioritizing the development of a robust container closure system, pharmaceutical companies can help ensure that patients receive the intended benefits of their products without compromising their health or safety. Thank you for listening to this audio cast. Are you an emerging biotech or established pharmaceutical company struggling to keep up with the ever-changing landscape of drug regulations? Look no further than Encrisi. We are the leading consulting group helping organizations comply with drug regulations through a comprehensive drug development model incorporating augmented intelligence and data analytics. Our industry experts can guide you through the complex world of compliance, making it more manageable than ever. With our Reimagining Regulatory Pathways services, we can help you design and implement best practices to streamline your operation and ensure you stay in line with current legislation. Our range of services covers regulatory drug development's technical and strategic aspects. Let us help you develop an overall strategy that accounts for all potential risks while still being able to meet your objectives. Visit our website at www.enkrisi.com to learn more and get started on the path to regulatory compliance success.